He chose his size, man. Sometimes we gotta just know niggas are gonna show you who they are. And believe them. You gotta believe them. Because they, you know what I'm saying? You can't make them what you, what you think about them in your mind or how good they are in your mind. Or they got a little good to them and you're trying to bring the good out of them. Nah, nah. Fuck all that. Like, that's done with me. You know what I'm Yo, saying? So so, I'm concentrating on me. That's it. So if I got Pistol Pete in here right now, what would you say to him? I don't have to say nothing. I let him, I let him say what he need to say. Ain't no, no, no personal with, with Pete. Pete is the nigga that, yeah, I know him. I know him. He chose that side. And just like the, other, the rest of the motherfuckers, if you roll in with them, you got to show your loyalty to them. So sometimes you're going to say, well, not me. I won't do that. I won't I won't just start talking shit about a nigga just because, you know what I'm saying, he's on the next next side. But I, I'll get down for my man. If I see him personally, of course, we're getting down. But as far as, like, talking trash about a nigga I don't know like that or I really like, just for the next nigga, I won't do that. But he's that type of nigga. So he says I'm in, uh, I'm against, you know, I'm not with them, so fuck me. So let's fuck him 3,000 times on top of that. That's just me, you know? Damn, bro. AJ, you all uh, hocus. Y'all, y'all want to say something? I see your mic open. No, nah, my mic ain't open. What's good, though, Q? Just hope. What's up, baby? What's going on, baby? Everything good. I'm in the city right now. I killed him, you know. Me and my brother, um, y'all already know Bang Bang Boogie for life. Bang Bang. Like, come on. Like somebody said earlier, I think that would be like one of the biggest things in hip hop history if they was to dead it. But I, you know, I know Cuban personally, guy. Like I know where his mindset is at. But I think you know the world would love to see that shit. Nah, yeah, bring, bring. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, you know, I just turned forty this week. The way I think now versus fifteen years ago when we started Bang Bang Boogie is totally different, bro. So yeah. I'm a preach peace, and hopefully one day that you know. That you and Joe can sit down and really mesh that shit, bro. On real talk. No doubt, no doubt, man. I'm, and this is coming from somebody who, you know, at the same time, you know, Hocus, when we was in Bang Bang Boogie, he took my side. And he was going hard with me. And I, I told him, you know, him and P.O., God bless P.O. You know what I'm saying? I told I told Hope, yo, I appreciate y'all niggas taking my side, but you already know what I'm on. Like, and, and they understood, but they felt that type of energy because they saw certain things. So, you know, they just spoke out for the hood. It wasn't really personal. Really. To me, it was always personal. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's just me, you know, that's just something that I, I know I've, I've been through before them and I appreciate the fact that, you know, they, they was rocking with me as hard as it was rocking with me. But, you know, it was it, it's music, you know, at the end of the day, you know, Hocus got his own, like, his own gift when it comes to that. He's dope with what he does. And 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 we always got different, you know, different stories. Like, he was able to m- mend his relationship with Joe. And, you know what I'm saying? I look for him from afar and I'm, I'm a little disappointed, I can't lie, but it's just like, I know Hocus. I know him. I know the brother, like, personally. And I know me and rela- his relationship really have nothing to do with Joe. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, how I know him. And he knows me. He knows what my core values are. And I know his. So he's still a good brother to me. And I got nothing but love. And I'm proud of what he's done with his life. After after he got caught in a, in a real situation with the, with the court system. So I appreciate that. And um, But but even Hocus, I would have to ask you, like, you see how y'all yeah, made, like, you and Joe got to be in a, in, a, in a playing field where it's like, y'all respect each other and y'all can talk back and forth with each other. Why he hasn't ever reached out to me though? See, my view of that is because he, he definitely loves to divide and conquer. <laughs> you know, he'll go he'll go to niggas around me and if they real enough, he'll befriend them or he'll try to way to have a you know, relationship with them. You know what I'm saying? And make me look like I'm a fucking psycho. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Because it's nice, like everybody that was my friends, they, they, they go to Joe somehow. So I, it must be Cuban, the wrong one. So that that's the image that I know people be seeing that. I don't think niggas be really looking at that type of shit. And there's other things too, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, I just be like, damn, you know, I can't control nobody. And, and I don't expect nobody to have that type of love for me to understand my side and be like, fuck this nigga and believe me. Because at the end of the day, the truth gonna come out and they're gonna have to stand on whatever side they need to stand on. And, and it's also, you know, neutral shit. Niggas won't be neutral because it's, it's just too deep. They don't wanna get caught up in that. And I understand that also. So regardless of what it is, as long as you don't disrespect me and start going on that side and disrespecting me, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm certain type of nigga. Like, then if we cool, we still could be cool, you know. But I got no problem. Niggas, you know, they men, they situation, or they, 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 you might like my enemy also on that, on that, on that level. Is, yo, he cool, man. I'm about beef, yo. Fuck that. I have nothing to say about it. I have nothing to say about it. And, I, and he's still my man, and we had a good history, and, and the report is still good. 
I'm still big enough to show you that love and chill around you still. You know what I'm saying? Now, can we could be close? I would definitely talk to you on the side and be like, yo, my nigga, what's going on? And let you explain me a story, but you know what I'm saying? I could, I could respect it. Just like, like Hocus did that. My son did the same thing. And I spoke to my son too. I never got to spoke to Hope though. Hope we didn't never speak too much deep into, inside that, but that was what I would ask you. I was like, you know what I'm saying? So how that went by, how that transpired. And I know how too. I know, I know, I know the people that was attached to that. And, uh, but I just don't want, you know what I'm saying, to be like, damn, this nigga Joe been right about Cuban. And, you know what I'm saying? Like that, then we have a, a misunderstanding. We have to straighten that out. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to let you know exactly what the fuck is going on. But if you don't see it, like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And, you know, what, what will be, would be. But that's how I feel about the situation. Though. But Hope, you still my nigga. Don't, don't, don't fucking take it like <laughs> nothing else. No, that's fact. You already know, bro. We brothers for life. That's you know, um, you, you already know, bro. We got you know, without saying names, mutual niggas around Joe, street niggas that I respect. Yep. You know that we fuck with each other, and you know it's like, I right, cool. Like you know what I mean? There ain't really no issue no more. I, I you know I came, I did my time, came home, wasn't thinking about beefing no more. So. No doubt, no doubt. You know, we, me, me, yeah. So me and Joe spoke, made amends, and you know. And you, and shit, you, you know, you, we, we ain't got you, no uh, issues. You've been through it enough, you know what I'm saying? And I know that's a, that's a life open, the eyes open in situation where you've been through, you know, life or death type shit and, and freedom and, and captivity type situation. And, and you've been through it, my brother, you know what I'm saying? You lived that life. So I understood the point of view you was living in. It's no need. It's no need if it's not personal or real beef like that to be on it like that. I understand. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's deeper than that. And it's other people that you knew before me. That you take their word over mine. And I understand that too. You know what I'm saying? But I got to be real to myself. And, and not because I'm stubborn. I'm hard-headed. Or I'm unforgivable. Like I can't forgive niggas. It's not that. It's not that at all. You know what I'm saying? It's just, um, you know, when you got an enemy, you got an enemy. You know what I'm saying? I, now, I don't know the, 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 the exact hateful uh, type of feelings that he got. That he has to continue doing this forever like that. Maybe because, I, you know, probably when you... When you were like real good friends with somebody and you break up, you know, that's that hurts more. So maybe the pain leads you to believe that you have to, you know what I'm saying, like keep on putting a nigga down because, you know what I'm saying, whatever the hate becomes a little, you know, the love turns to, to, to hate. And it's that type of hate that that um that you have with you. I, I never had that type of shit, but I'm only reacting. I'm playing on the defense. Maybe y'all don't see that. Y'all see me as the aggressor, but it's it's, it's definitely not that. It's definitely me really defending myself and me speaking up and me uh, going through it, going through it behind the scenes where y'all don't see it. And, I, you know, I, I act like I'm, you know what I'm saying, like like it, it's not happening because, you know, you got to be, I'm a stand-up nigga regardless. I'm a stand-up nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I, I got I to gotta voice my, my, my truth. So if the, my truth is, is, is getting in between the business of other people, then that's not my fault, man. It's not my fault that, you know, your bag stops. Because I'm telling my truth. You know what I'm saying? I, I never went out and got niggas and recruited niggas to hate niggas. Niggas do that because they see the situation and they, they side with a nigga. And I never personally went to somebody and be like, yo, let's let's do this hate campaign on Joe so we can do this. And never. And that's the difference. My shit be personal and it's 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 like that between me and me, me and him. And and because if it's it, what he's done to me behind the scenes that I don't respect. But he's been spreading rumors and, and shit about me inside the industry that I don't respect. What he's done to my brother in the business side that I don't respect. So it's a lot of things that I hold personal. You know what I'm saying? And it plays out in the business sense. And it does. I can't fake it. And I never did. You know? But that's just me. That's the Cuban Link uh, journey. You know what I'm saying? We all got different journeys. Yo, Cuban. Um, I wanted to commend you for coming in here, first of all. Like... It's shot 120, you heard? Um, What's up, baby? You already know what's up. Um, I respect I respect everything you said. I'm, I'm quite sure everybody in here has had somebody close to them that didn't appear to be the motherfucker they should have been. You know, not on a, a greater plane like yours was with the money involved and so much fuckery going on, you heard? Yeah. Um, for all y'all that's young artists in here that's trying to come up and all y'all that's artists, definitely people be telling y'all, man, because this, this is a wicked world out this bitch, man. Like, ain't nobody gonna look out for number one, but number one, like we all go through the, the 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 situations with individuals in our life where 
we put a motherfucker close to us and, and, and we say this is my brother or my sister and we all been through that shit. Nobody can't tell me they ain't been through that. Like, I, I appreciate you coming in here, bro. You really, you dropped the gym today. Like, I, sp I, spoke, I spoke to Joe too, bro. Like, and you know, I got, I got a great understanding of what, what it is. Like, and I just appreciate you coming in here, bro. You really you kind of open, open the third eye a little bit something today. Yo, Hulk, what's up, man? Yes, sir. That's about it, man. I, like I said, I, I, I tripped on this motherfucking uh, channel, right? And it's, I always looked at the the uh, death of a cloud chase, death of a cloud chase, and I listened to y'all, and I listened to homie. And uh, he always kept it, like, as, 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 as close to the middle as he could. So I respected you. And even when Wack was putting the pressure, you know what I'm saying? Because Wack had that pressure in the beginning where he's like, yo, you got to choose his side or, or be on his fucking side, you know, to show that love or if not. They, Wack they boot had no pressure. Stop it, shit. What's up? That nigga ain't had no pressure going on over here. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Even though he had the pressure on other people, like Devil and Cloud Chaser, the nigga stood on his, on, his, on, his, on his ten toes and he kept the neutral. You know what I'm saying? He kept it where, where you heard both sides of the story. You know what I'm saying? But I, I seen the pressure he been through. I seen whack would get at him. You know what I'm saying? He kept it, kept it 100. Respect for, you know, death for cloud chase. Yo, Cuban, can I ask you one question, bro? Just one thing. I I kind of um, was playing with my son and shit and eating while y'all was talking before. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned something about China Mac, did you? Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the situation there? Because I didn't get the whole... You know, I, I was on the phone with Lot the other day when he called. You know, that's one of my bros. Like, okay, now nah, nah, trying, yeah. trying to make me him go back, but it, it, we don't really go back. I don't know him. I never met him, but I remember the gin situation. Wait, wait, remember he caught, he, he, he shot, he shot a. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Behind the scenes on that with the rough riders and shit, we had a meeting about him because we try to find out. You know what I'm saying? Because what was going on? So I was in that meeting and shit, but uh, it was, it was deep. It was deep. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I'm, I'm saying I, I, I keep. I is he cool? Is he cool with whack? That's what I'm asking. Is that whack? Oh, I don't you know. know. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, that that's all. I'm going out the room because yeah. that's what that's all I came for. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah. Yeah, nah. He said out his own mouth. He cool with whack. He said that. That's his word. Okay. I mean, I heard. I heard whack talk when he we had that fight when China Man had that fight with the with the I think no jumper, right? What was what was no not no jumper, whatever. Yeah, he had a, a, it was A D from, yeah, yeah, from yeah, no yeah. jumper at the time. Yeah. yeah, yep, yep. He had a fight with him and I, I seen Wack talk good about him and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he respect him, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he had made a call and shit, give you know, for that one on one. So I remember that part. I don't know. I mean, that seemed like it was cool back then, but I don't know. I don't know. But Wack, like I said, man, Wack kinda of, you know. I, I, he brought my faith up when it, you know what I'm saying he, he taking on the, the, the real family case you know I salute that um, I wish him the best in that and uh, you know what I'm saying um, that's 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 personal to me you know what I'm saying that's my family too so uh, if he's helping them in any way man I, I salute that very much and uh, keep doing a, you know keep doing the good work that's what, what it about, is what about Big Pun's son you in contact with him uh yeah, like I said, man, that's my listen. That's my nephew. That's a family member, man. So even if we don't talk on the phone, whatever it is, whatever inside, if they mad at me because you know maybe I didn't show up somewhere or whatever, it's always gonna be family, and that's my family. And the bigger, you know, the big picture, that's that's what it is. Nothing less, and it's not. So they shooting that bio picket. Like, do you think your name should be should you be mentioned in the story? Oh, I mean, if they don't mention it, I mean, the world knows already. You know, I mean, it's got to be that something funny going on if my name ain't mentioned. Not that I'm old, you know, I'm doing this because I want my name mentioned. You know what I'm saying? But are you okay? Are, are you okay with them put, putting out the the full detail of the uh, of the fight in the in the club? They, and I mean, they got caught. Nah, you gotta. That's my story. So you gotta involve me in it. Now, now I ain't gonna be that stupid and be that personal asshole. They'll be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. That's turning to business. You want to say my story? Uh, I ain't, ain't going to trust nobody with my story except myself. I mean, I'm going to tell the truth. I know that. I, I'm not, I, I guarantee other niggas ain't going to tell the truth because they ain't going to know it. They're they going to go with what they heard. And even the, no nigga to this day that could see, that had seen that or whatever, the, the, what, I've been, what I've been through, like situations that had told the truth. Nobody that spoke it. 
with details to the truth like I've done it because I got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because the other side haven't done it. They didn't, they, they ignore it. The other side, you never heard nobody ask Joe about that fucking fight in gymnastics. Nobody. Nobody ever asked this nigga none of those fucking questions. Why do you think that happens? Because it's a business. You know, the narrative is, is very important. If it's negative, it's very important because that means it, it switches the table. It means Cuban Link was telling the truth all this fucking time. So now we owe him. As far as the business, we owe him. Now that they don't want to pay that, they don't want to pay that tab. You know what I'm saying? So how was your, yo, Cuban? How was your link? How was your relationship with Remy? All right, it's no, it's no relationship. She came out of jail and, and you know, before jail. Uh, yeah, before jail. Before jail, she and I was going to uh, to a trial with her. She, 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 I was helping her get a deal and all that. Uh, Joe, Joe had stipulations on a contract. She couldn't sign with G Unit and shit like that. So she came to me. She wanted to sign with G Unit, and she came to me asking for help. And I, I, I did my best to help her out. I went with her to a trial uh, before she got the eight years. Uh, we spoke about. It. She was my, you know, she was close to me like that. I, and, and we always had that, you know, pun. Pun was the nucleus. You know what I'm saying? I always, I was fucked with with her because of pun. Uh, she's the one who took me to to the hospital when I got, my, you know, my, cut in my face in Jimmy's. So me and Remy was fucking. We had an A report. You know, what I'm saying when she was locked up, I was doing songs with Bang Bang Boogie Shine Out with the free Remy T-shirt. So y'all yeah, seen the the alliance there. But when she did the eight years, after she did those eight years, she came out and she was, you know, team team Fat Joe. She was part of me. She was Joe's sister. Uh, and one of the rules was to never ever talk to me again, and that's what she's been doing. <laughs> so she never talked to me. She never says hello. She never said shout out. She never even has nothing to say about me. She ignores me. So have you reached out to her on the gram or anything? I reached out many times, many times. I reached out through her brother. Uh, sent out fucking YouTube fucking uh, salutes. Uh, I, 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 I tune into her lives and say hey, what's up? Nothing. So she ignores me. She knows she knows that the bag is either the bag or, or Cuban, and everybody and everybody always chose the bag, you know. So uh, they show me who they are, man. I gotta I gotta I gotta just agree with them. That's who they are. It sound like sound like you got some love for her, like you miss her. So it's always so. love. start with the love. It start with a, with a hundred percent love, man. It's it's dumb. It's dumb who, who diminish that love, who, who empties that fucking heart from that blood, you know. So it's not me. It's never be me. And I it was like it sounds. Sounds, you know, tiring, but God damn it. I'll tell you the truth, man. <laughs> You're going to agree with me. If I tell you the truth, y'all niggas going to be like, word. I would do the same thing. But it's just niggas don't, they don't get to hear my, you know, I don't get, I don't be out there to, in, in that podium where everybody gets to hear on the Oprah shows and I don't got that type of life. So when you see me screaming from the bottom, these little, you know, independent shows and whatever bo- podcast you see me on, it's like, it's not really, you know what I'm saying? It's not really popping where everybody hears it or it's famous. It's that famous or that known. So you hear me like a fucking, like I'm, I'm a jealous little fucking wolf howling at the moon. <laughs> and it's never that. You know what I'm saying? No no other big stories want to pick it up from that, from that, um, from where it's at because they don't want to give it light. They want to keep it in darkness. And uh, you know that team darkness, man. I don't rock with that team darkness. I'm about the light. Anybody else got so anything? if 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 Dragon Rivers had an opportunity to sign with um, Joe, you think they would take it, or too much stuff has happened throughout the years? I'm not gonna ever be uh, the one that says never is never, but um, 95 percent maybe sure that I don't think they would take it. They don't want to relive that. They know what Joe is about. Uh, they don't want to speak out. Like I, I've done. Sp- Speaked up, spoken about him the way I do. Uh, that's really warning to the next niggas. Not hating on him niggas, because at the end of the day, you know that nigga did to me. He did he did shit in the business side of me to to try to bury me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's why I speak the way I speak. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna bury me. I'm bury your ass. That's just the way it is. So um, uh, I don't think they would uh, definitely. That one that one sign with. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, if gotta, they, but if it happens by any fucking miracle, devil fucking miracle in the world, uh, then they made their choice and I would be very disappointed at them and they know what they got coming. You know, they take the bag and your soul is done. You know? Yo, yo, Cuban, um, 
Who you think would be a better manager if you had to pick? If you had one of the two, Suge Knight or Wack One Hundred? <laughs> God damn, nigga! Come on, man. That's a good ass that. question right there. I mean, that's a good man, one for you to answer, man. Ain't nobody probably ever asked that question before. Regardless, regardless, regardless who I pick. You know, say regardless. Come on, don't don't. I'm gonna tell on, you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Regardless who I pick, whether it's Chuck or whether it's Wack, they gonna respect me. All right, but they pick, gonna respect pick, me, and they ain't gonna, you know ain't gonna sign anything. I ain't gonna just sign anything. But they gonna. Now I understand. Me. I understand. But you getting ready? You sign that dotted line. Now who is your manager? Suge Knight or Wack One Hundred? I mean, listen, oh, like I said, on. like I said, like come I said, it, it don't matter. All right, look, 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 let me make it even better for you. None of them, is what I'm saying. Look, let, let me look, make look, it better look. for you. Look, look, I'm going to make it better for you. Who your manager? Fat Joe, Suge Knight, Rack 100. Who you knocking off the list? Who not your manager? Oh, uh, come on, Cuban. Don't, don't go silent on me now. Got to pick. Got to pick one of them, man. You know that man, politicking. Yeah, that, he over there thinking. Yo, you got to come. You got to hit the um, mute button, bro. You on, you went on mute. Oh, they put me on mute? Okay. I said I would definitely, I would definitely, um, it doesn't matter who I pick, my brother, because they're going to have to respect me, and I'm going to be on top of them even more because I know their fucking history. So as long as they do a good job, which I, they, they're capable of doing a great job, it's just that they got that history of doing, they getting crazy when the money comes, they go fucking nuts, they, they show their balls off, and they scare everybody. That's the problem with them. But they actually really did great things in, in, in the fucking, in, in the music industry behind the scenes. So, like, Shunk, regardless, he, he made, like, he fought for the artists in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? He got that bag. He got the most, the biggest bag ever. So you going to go with Shug? For niggas to get that type of bag. So you got to respect that. It's just that. So you going with Shug? What's up? So you going with Shug? I like Wack too, though. Wack do good shit, too. He's a good, he's a, he talk to the, to the white man like that. White collar niggas, he knows his thing. He knows how to do the, you know what I'm saying, the transition to, to, to from the artist to the... Hey. Hey, hey, Cuban, hey, Cuban. We we understand you like all three of them, bro. All three. Salute to that. You like all three of them. But well, which no. one would you want for yourself? Them, Not Joe out the list. I told you. Fuck Joe. I said, sure. But, but, no, nah, but, hey, Cuban, but keep it a bean, though, bro. This whole time, it sounds like you want to be able to reconcile things with Joe. And that's cool. I hope y'all do do that. Like, well, so they, out of those three, you like all three of them. Which one you going to take? Just pick some You got that from me. That's the narrative you got from me. I don't know what the fuck you was listening to. Nah, nah. I kind of just sound like you, like, I don't, when I say reconcile, not, like, have a problem with them. You know what I'm saying? Just get over that shit because that shit was a long time ago. You know what but I'm you saying? Know, get over it. We'll get over it exactly how we're going to get over it, though. You got you to gotta go through steps, right? So okay, cool. Right. So, <laughs> all right. So, out of those three, which one would you pick for yourself, bro? I would pick fucking Cuban Link, my nigga. That's it. I pick Cuban Link, my nigga. I, I, I'm not an artist no more, my nigga. This, my, my story is already uh, where they put my back against the wall. Where I learned the business, where I know what to do as far as like the business side and and and, and how to get my my own thing done and, and 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 just do the whole, you know, do do what I need to do. You know, say some 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 stories that you hear or, or what people go through. They they learn things. They just don't be going through the shit just to. I ain't go through all this shit. Just, that, that you know, what I'm saying this black ball and motherfuckers all against me to become just a regular artist and get signed to another nigga or let another nigga just take my career and with they with what they think. I know I've been through it. I know what I need to do. You know, what I'm saying I got, the talent is still there for me to make it happen and for me to guide myself the way I need to be guided. You know, what I'm saying because I already gave that chance to somebody else. I put my career in other people's hands and they fuck it up. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying they don't do exactly what I know I would have done. So why would I put my, my career in somebody else's hand again after all this shit? Hey, I'm glad you I just, just I hey, hey, Cuban, I'm glad you said that, though. Are you um looking into investing in to new artists and shit like that? Are you still working of course, in the I music mean, I, industry? I appreciate talent, man. If you got the talent. I would love to be a vehicle that, that takes you to the next level, you know, whatever level. I'm, I'm, I'm finna go to the top with it. So, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate talent that much. If you got it, make me a believer. I'll ride with you a thousand. As long as you ride with me, 
That's it. You know, you've got to be got that. Any artists but, right now, bro? You got any artists that's uh, nah, that you working with or working right now? On? I got my plate is full with me. You know what I'm saying? With me, I can't I can't really guide somebody else's career. Uh, if I can't do my my if I can't guide my myself, you know what I'm saying? Still got that black that black cloud over me, where it's, you know whether I'm black, bald, I'm going through all these troubles in this industry. Shit, imagine me trying to bring up another artist that, that will block it. It will block it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so. Until I clear it, I clear the air out, and I clear, you know, saying that lane, then I could definitely, you know, take that that manager's job or whatever label job, you know, what I'm saying. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing me, you know, what I'm saying. And y'all gonna see it. I mean, I still got, I got new music out too. Just to let y'all know, nigga. I ain't talking all this shit like it's a fucking fairy tale. Like, check out my music. Y'all can go to, you know, what I'm saying, go get that music, go cop it, go, you know, it's in all social medias, uh, as far as like, you know, YouTube and go check out my new. My new joints that I dropped, man. Uh, I just dropped something called for the ladies. It's called uh, "Love Me or Leave Me Alone." I got um, oh, oh, oh. I got like five new joints out there, you know, on my New York shit. I got uh, wait, where, where they go? Check out the new shit, man. I know we 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 get caught up in talking about the soap opera shit, you know, about real life and the situation and issues, but it's about the talent, man. I don't want I want y'all niggas to remember me just for talking shit and being blackballed. Go check out my music, man. Let 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 y'all niggas know that you know with the, the skills. Let me know if the skills are still there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been always telling me, so let me know now. You know about UFO thieves? UFO fears? Thieves, thieves, UFO thieves? No, I don't know that, but I believe in aliens. <laughs> no, um, he's supposed to be an artist. Um, Fat Joe is managing from Spanish Harlem. I know him real well, and I was just trying to get your take on it because you know he's a great, dope artist and talent. You're talking about management, and you're worried about you know if you do bring up up an artist that you know the stuff that um you're going through as far as being blackboard will trickle down to your artist. So I was asking if you knew about F, uh UFO Thieve and to see what you think is happening with that dynamic and why he's not um in the industry like how he should be well i don't I, i've never heard of him uh but I we really hate to see y'all so niggas beef in cuba you I know we go up to y'all niggas man he's, like fat joe's, man. he's fat joe's artist that's why I, you know I oh, okay no no I, that's what i'm saying it's just a, but like i said like i haven't heard of him i haven't heard his talent uh but uh um i mean listen <laughs> once again I'm, I'm a first person uh activist in, in that in that list when it comes to being managed by fat joe uh you know i got uh i got history you know uh, he didn't he didn't do the right managing type of job with me i mean for himself he did a great job for himself and some people are like that they can manage themselves you know they know how to use uh that power for themselves more than and i don't agree with that i, I agree with the skills are, are for the artist that artist deserves all of that what you know what's rightfully deserved and i deserve as a manager the cut the percent that i get you know he was taking 50 percent from from pun now do you think of a manager or a person at the end of the day that call somebody twin and all of that would take 50 percent you know that's illegal in any fucking world any part of the world no that's unheard of you take 50 percent from an artist he did that to pun so is that a good hey, manager hey, hey, Cuba, okay. hey bro do, is it possible that um at that age, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he didn't realize what he was doing was wrong. Or do you intentionally, do you think he intentionally just was trying to take away from you? Or do you think maybe he just made a mistake as a young man? As a young man, he made a mistake. That's a good way to fucking uh, argue a, a fucking... Uh, nah, and I'm not on nobody's side. I'm just asking a question. No, no, I know, I know. But if you look, you look at yourself and you, you, you say that, right? If it was a mistake, like... Okay, if it was a mistake, with the, dude, how do a mistake get? You, wouldn't you try to correct your mistake if you was a good dude? Like if you was a, yeah, that's a, a fact. A, that's right? a fact. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to correct it, right? You won't keep making the same mistake over and over because now you're trying to bury that mistake, right? But that that's called the fucking evil motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know you keep on doing it to the same person, like oh you're covering that mistake. Okay, then you come with this lie. You, you know you make up another lie to make that lie look. You know cover that one. That's called a liar. It's called a thief. It's called you got something to hide. And it's called that you don't want the truth out. So why won't you want the truth out? If you're a good dude or you are somebody that, uh, you know, is trying to do the right thing uh, by another person. If you did that to that person, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 
you know, I can't explain it any more clearer than that, man. You know, um, you know, it was supposed to be the example of maybe a fear for others. Maybe that's why they did all this shit to me, so they could other niggas could fucking respect them and whatever. They just chose the wrong nigga, and you know what I'm saying? That's it is. You know, they know they chose the wrong nigga to do that. Because, you know, I mean, they they, they they chose other people before me. Don't get that twisted. You know, there's other people in the list that he, he fucking shut them up and he fucking ended their careers. There's many. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You go from Frankie Cutlass to King Son to, to, you know, to a lot of others, you know, behind the scenes. Um, they had um, that, issue, that issue with, not as serious as mine, but an issue with Joe. And Joe, you know, he put their lights out. You just, you, you just didn't hurt it. They ain't hear it. Yeah, you never heard of them like like that. Because they, they they stood shut. They never said nothing. You know? But uh not me, man. Not me. I can't do that. My soul won't let me do that. It's not my DNA don't do that. You know. It's not it's not for no compensation at all except the truth to be out there, put that respect on my name that I did some you know say I'm the, I'm I'm the, I'm the I'm the truth for real. I'm the one who went through it and I'm the one who's telling you the way it is. Because, you know, there's definitely the balance is off. Y'all giving the fucking, some props to the, to the nigga that don't deserve it. Especially when a nigga gets on a motherfucking um, interview and starts saying that he, he's taking credit for my work. Starts taking credit for my work that I didn't get paid for, that you was in charge of managing. And you taking credit for my work for your own fucking benefit? Get the fuck out of here. So, uh, yeah, we got to put this, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just in a journey of putting things back in perspective and putting the truth where it needs to be. You know, nothing more, nothing less. I'm not trying to invent new shit. Yo, just yo, yo, Cuban, no trolling shit on a one-on-one fight right now. You think Joe fucked you up on a one-on-one fight? Just... I, think it was, I think he would stop me out. I think he would fuck me up. He, would he lost all that weight, man. That, that nigga, nigga he... will do the... He'll do, the, he'll do the King Kong Bundy splash on me, man. You don't see how that nigga, that nigga doing the lean back now? You better chill. <laughs> That nigga lean fat. Uh, uh, I made that nigga lean back though, Jimmy. And he hit me first. I fucked him up afterwards. So you you tell me. And I'm five eight. I'm five foot eight. He's he's six three. He got the first punch on me. And I get up and I fucking I, I made him do the whop and I fucking made him fucking do a flip behind the banister. That's what I did. That's facts. So I'm gonna tell me. the Hulk is though, man. Let's see if we can get it. We, let's see if he if he down for a phone call. See, y'all doing the fucking clubhouse little fucking trick again? Y'all gonna get this shit to be bullshit? Y'all gonna get me fucking in with the bullshit ass fucking questions? And you gonna start? Nah, this? listen. I'm gonna I'm try gonna to get y'all on the phone, bro. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna call Hulk. Who? You could get you and Joe on the phone. Ah, there you go, nigga. You gonna get me? You gonna make money? You gonna make money on that? Man. Nah, I ain't trying to stream it. I'm gonna see where it go. It's gonna I'm go away. Where you think it's gonna go, my nigga? <laughs> maybe he, the, maybe he might money. listen. Maybe okay. maybe listen. Just think positive, man. Get the fuck out of here. Think positive. This <laughs> <is> <laughs> this bro, dumb nigga need a face to face. A phone and go. Nah, Hocus, you can't. Yeah, nah, okay, man. Bro, they bro, the face to face pause. They need a face to face, bro. They, them niggas is brothers. They need face to face with no middleman going in the room. And okay. talk to each other. Well, it's you know, y'all, not brother, brother. y'all was That's once brothers. Made me say that. You know what I mean? So, like. It's supposed to be. I thought. You can't be brothers if one of y'all think y'all brothers. I thought he was my brother. He obviously showed me he's not my brother. <laughs> or unless he's Cain and Abel. He was Cain then. Okay, cool. If he was Cain, then we could agree with that. But, but he, Abel is dead, though. I'm going to hit them nigga with an axe. Yep. Hey, 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 Q. Hey, Q. Do you take responsibility for any of this? Like y'all, y'all not fucking with each other. Do you take any responsibility in this situation for anything, or he just did all? I take of responsibility of being in a, in, a, in a situation where I voiced my, I voiced the the right, the my right to, to speak as a businessman, and my right to uh, that earned, I earned my right to, to to say what I need to say and hit, you know, for somebody to hit me out. Now, if he didn't agree with it, or he's trying to go against what I was saying, and he acted the way that he, you know, the way he acted. Uh, so now, nah, my que- but my question is: so you don't think you did anything wrong for him to feel some type of way towards you? Yes, I feel that God made it so pretty that he couldn't fucking stand it. 
Uh, I, I feel that I was repping my brother pun so much that he got jelly, jelly with the peanut butter on the belly because of me loving and my brother pun and he and my brother loving me and he was jelly of that fucking relationship. I, yeah, I feel that he was jelly every time that I fucking stood up for something I was right and he was in the middle of it. And I was trying to stop him from fucking.